Buddhism asks you to look at yourself and how actually we are a part of nature. Nature is very beautiful, it has its special moments, but there are cycles in nature of life and death, and we are also a part of that life and death cycle. It's a realistic view of life. People tend to look and view life as uh, one-dimensional. And what's actually occurring is cycles, conditions, elements come, go, and part of the life and death cycle is karma, that our life and death cycle is framed by our actions, again, of body, speech, and mind. Buddhism asks you to reflect on your life and the life and the world around you. Things come through cycles, through events, through conditions, and uh, through actions. And those actions have multiple layers happening actually at the same time. We think it's maybe our one life, but there are multiple elements, conditions, and influences all happening at the same time. It's not one specific event or soul or identity, but an incredibly complex uh, pattern of conditions, elements, and experiences arising at the same time. People think they're happy with their desires and their jobs and they, they, they're in debt and uh, they, they need more and it's always a chase, almost like a dog running around in circles chasing his tail. But uh, people don't want to give up things and they don't realize how burdened physically and mentally they are with uh, their lifestyle. So people are drinking, taking drugs, parties, or they're eating, or overeating, and they're indulging themselves in many ways. And then there's the other side of life. I have to be married, I have to have this mate, I have to have this kind of a house, uh, live under such expectations. So a meditative life is actually giving up all that worldly side of life and all those desires, obligations, and expectations, it's an incredible trap. On the surface, it looks very nice uh, to have a house, be married, children, debt, work for so many years, retire, but there's an incredible burden and, and a suffering pattern that plays out over and over again. And so once I personally began meditating, I realized how little you need in life to get by just your basics of food, shelter, and medicine. And everything else in life is free and an enjoyment, though it comes and goes. And so I'm much more freer. 